All right, here we have a Razer laptop that came in locally for no power. That's how the laptop looks like. And the customer said he attempted to replace the SSD, but he forgot to disconnect the battery and he thinks that's what caused the problem. He did mention something about a screw. He forced it in and he could not get the screw back out. But I'm not aware that there is any long screw damage with these laptops. But we're gonna inspect the motherboard. We're gonna do visual inspection on the board to see if there's anything obvious. And I'm gonna start by inspecting the SSD area because that's what the customer said. He attempted to replace the SSD. The laptop was working before, but now it does not power on anymore. Now I did confirm that the laptop does not power on. Sometimes I do not show it on camera, but I always test. So why don't we test it together right now? We have the charging cable plugged in and this is not your average normal charging cable. Okay, and if we press on the power button, dead, nothing. While at it, why don't we look under the thermal cam just to see if there's anything obvious. And then we'll do visual inspection. So we're gonna wait until the thermal camera boots up. And it already did. So is there anything obvious on the board? And nothing. And I do not see anything obvious. What if we try to power it on right now? All right, so nothing. Let's unplug. And we're just gonna do a quick visual inspection on the board. We're gonna start next to the SSD area. And I do see something here. Look at this. This is a fuse. And the fuse, I do see a nick here. It may not be anything, but the fuse may be blown. I do not know what this fuse does or what this fuse is for. Is it for the SSD? Is it for the power circuit? Is it for the charging circuit? Is it for, I don't know, meter in, meter in continuity mode. And let's check, do we have a continuous path on this fuse? And look at that, we do not. And if we measure in ohms mode, what reading do we get? We get fluctuations between six mega ohms to right now it's showing 20 kilo ohms, 19 kilo ohms. A fuse should be zero ohms. So we have a problem with the fuse. That could be it. That could be what's causing a no power on this laptop. But then again, I do not know what this fuse is for, but it's for something. Right now, the fuse may be blown for two reasons. Reason number one, the customer attempted to replace the SSD without disconnecting the battery. But the customer also mentioned that he forced the screw in and he was not able to get the screw back out. So we do not know if there is such thing as screw damage for this board or if that's what caused the fuse to blow. Right now, I do not have a reason to believe that it's a screw damage. I mean, the hole is empty all the way down and there's no way to puncture that board. Okay, we have a problem with the fuse. I do not have the same exact fuse, but we can substitute for a zero ohm resistor and see if the laptop will work. And today I bought a replacement hot tweezers tip. The one I have is worn out and time to go. Rest in peace. I have not used this one yet, so let's use it for the first time today to remove that fuse. I do not want to apply hot air and I do not want to remove the board from the laptop right now, so we're going to use hot tweezers to remove that component. And I'm currently at 400 degrees. 
let me go to 450. We're going to apply a tiny bit of flux on this fuse here. And let's switch over to the microscope. And that's the new tip right here. Fume extractor on. And that's a big fuse. That's a big fuse. And the fuse is out. That's not your average fuse. It's a big one. It's like the video card fuses. So a MacBook fuse is not going to work here. An iMac fuse is not going to work here. We're going to substitute with a zero ohm fuse or zero ohm resistor and see what happens. Hopefully that's the problem. Let's try this one and see what happens. And that's a one ohm resistor, that's what I have for now. But I just want to try this one and see if the laptop will turn on. Okay, so that's a one ohm resistor and not a zero ohm, but that's what I have for now. For size 805, I'm out of the zero ohm resistors. I can probably look for one on a donor board, but it doesn't matter. If it's a one ohm or zero ohms, the laptop will turn on if that's in fact what's causing the problem. So let's see. All we are doing now is checking to see if that will solve the problem. We can replace the fuse later. We can get the exact one later on. But for now, we just want to see if that will work. The battery is plugged in and we do not know if the battery is charged. And no signs of life. Oh, oh, here, here. <laughs> right here, it's on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we do not have an SSD drive. The customer brought us a new one that he tried to install, but it's out. So it's not going to boot up to anything right now. And we don't have the RAM inside also, so we're not going to see anything on the screen. But the laptop is on. All right, so I did end up getting the same size fuse off a PS4 donor board. I soldered the fuse on the board. Big Boss reassembled the laptop, the RAM, the SSD drive that the customer brought in. Of course, the SSD drive does not contain an operating system on it. The customer is the one that's going to install the operating system. But the laptop is on, everything is good. We'll call the customer on Monday to come and pick up. Right now, it's already closing time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.